what is up YouTube XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you a JTAG tutorial and this is on how to install plugins correctly on your RGH or JTAG. I get a lot of requests for this tutorial, I get a lot of comments on my YouTube videos saying can you please make a tutorial on how to set your plugins correctly and how to install GTA mod menus and that sort of thing. I also get a lot of messages on Skype saying the exact same thing so I guess it's just for people that don't know how to do this, it's really really basic and you should already know this by now if you're an advanced JTAG user or even if you just use a JTAG a lot you will know how to do this. But for the people that don't know how to do this and maybe just got their console quite late and they you know they're just trying to learn this video is for you it's really really simple and I'm going to show you two methods on how to do this and it will require a couple of things but everything that I'm using in the video will be in the description below so be sure to check the description if you don't have something that I'm using such as xx menu dash launch and a few other things so the first method I'm going to be showing you is how to use a dash launch and set your plugins within that it's really really simple and it's quite self-explanatory but I'm going to show you how to do that anyway because again not a lot of people know how to do this so what I like to do is boot without plugins even if you don't have plugins set sometimes you might have something there and it just puts you basically offline and it prevents your KV and key vault from getting banned because when you bypass plugins it doesn't connect to any type of offline files or server files so it cannot connect to Xbox Live or whatsoever so if you don't know how to bypass plugins all you simply do is make sure your console is powered off completely but plugged in press the power button then wait half a second and press the eject button what that will do is it will basically just skip all of the plugins and is kind of like offline but is still connected to the network so you can access FTP and such but it's really really useful and obviously if you used to do this and you're online and went to dash launch sometimes you'd get KV banned quicker just because you're using a third party homebrew app and obviously Xbox Live doesn't like that so this is why you should always buy plus plugins or maybe take your stealth plugins off via you know dash launch which obviously I'm going to show you how to do so once your console has booted I'm going to be using XCX menu for this tutorial but you can use FTP freestyle dash or neighborhood just make sure that you can access your hard drive so once you bypass the plugins and your console is on go to my games and launch XCX menu once XCX menu is loaded press LB and then LB again this will go to the root of your hard drive or maybe your external hard drive and find a dash launch again I will leave it in the description below so be sure to download that if you do not have this already mine is in home and then dash launch once dash launch is loaded you'll see plugins so we're going to click on that and you'll see plugin one to five and as you can see I already have plugins set but they're not being used right now because I've used the bypass plugin method from powering and ejecting the console so all you simply do from here is click on one of the plugins once you've clicked on it it may take a couple of seconds to load just because your hard drive may be quite big and have a lot of content on there but once it's loaded you will see the xx files and this is basically you know the GTA mod menu or server that you want to set make sure it's .xx at the end that's basically the type of file that is used on the Xbox so I'm going to be using XBDM so you'd simply click A on this once clicked A you want to press a right bumper go down to the little green notification there and press X what that will do is in the bottom left you can see that it's saved the launch.ini and then you press A to load that as you can see once again it says settings loaded and then you press a B to exit dash launch so now I've simply set XBDM as plugin 1 that is successfully saved and loaded but it will not load straight away you have to manually reboot your console once rebooted you will have that plugin set again guys really really simple very very easy pretty self-explanatory but this is for the people that don't know how to do that okay guys so the second method is using the launch.ini file which is basically where your plugins are stored and is what you're setting within dash launch but it's really really easy I prefer this method and I think a lot of people do prefer this method as it's really really easy to do so all you want to do is make sure that your console is connected to a network and you can access it through the local IP address if you don't know how to do that on your console go over to settings system network settings and then click on either your wired or wireless network click configure network and you'll see there the IP address mine ends in 118 so once you know your IP address you will need a neighborhood for this it is in the description below so be sure to download that if you do not have that already and if you don't know how to install it I also have another video on that too simply open neighborhood and type in your IP address 
and connect to your console. Go into retail hard drive and you'll see a launch.ini file in here. Now, if you do not have one of these, this will be also in the description below, but a lot of different launch.ini's vary. I know that Ninja has a specific launch.ini file and you have to have theirs, but there is one basic one that comes with the XE build, so I will leave that in the description below if you do not have this already. Once you've located this on your console, you can simply drag and drop this onto your desktop and open it with any text document of your choice. Now, this may look really Really, really confusing but it's really really not all you do is scroll down until you see the word plugins and as you can see all of the plugins that I have set here so for example I have ninja.xx now on the root of my hard drive I have the ninja.xx there so all you do is type in ninja.xx click file save exit this delete the old one and replace it with your new one and reboot your console as simple as that you should then have successful plugins that are working it can work with GTA mod menus maybe a Modern Warfare 2 mod menu but that is how to successfully install your plugins on your console I hope it helps in a way comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one peace